What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, this is going to be another early morning kind of uh, observation uh, vlog, I guess you could say. Um, so what I, what I wanted to talk about really quick this morning was actually a commercial that I just watched. It kind of uh, inspired me, I guess you could say, to come in here and just make like a, a quick video about just throw a, a couple of quick thoughts at you guys as I, as I normally do. Uh, and this was a car commercial where they took like, you know, some, you know, some people, you know, uh, uh, I don't know if they were the car owners or they were random people off the street. I assume that they were random people uh, because that's usually how these, these car commercials like to do it to get kind of a natural reaction out of people. Um, and they, they brought this group of people in and the guy asked them, you know, what do you look for in a car when you're buying a car? And they said, you know, stuff like style and dependability and safety, you know, aesthetics. Basically, like, the focus was on the aesthetics of the car. And that's fine to a certain degree, but, you know, for someone like me who gave up their license, like, you know, years ago, like three or four years ago or so, you know, I gave up my license because I just, you know, I don't want to drive anymore. You know, to me... Driving is not a logical part of the world. I mean, until driving becomes safe, until we get like electric cars and solar powered cars, self driving cars, and stuff like that, right? I'm always thinking about the future. Um, but cars as they are right now, they're, they are dangerous, they are expensive, and they're bad for the environment. There, there are three negatives and very little positives besides, um, you know, faster transportation and I guess you can go more places in a car but to me it's it's illogical to, to drive in today's society it doesn't make sense because of those three major factors um, and one probably the biggest factor there is the environment driving a car is horrible for the environment the the fumes the fossil fuels you know what I'm saying it's just like you know every time I see someone driving by and like like a huge you know truck or a huge S SUV I'm like yeah okay you know ha have a good day have a good day man like you know pump pump as much CO2 into the biosphere as humanly possible yeah you know it's just I, I hate it you know I hate to see it you know all all these all these stupid groups out there like these these Prius killers and stuff like that I mean just you know mindless people um, but what I, have, I guess what we could say I have an equal problem with is all these kind of like um, these new yuppies, you know, like these new well-to-do middle class people who don't care about the environment. It drives me crazy that people continue to drive cars while at the same time not caring about the environment. And this commercial was a perfect example of that. Asking these random people, what do they look for in a car? Oh, style. Oh, dependability. Oh, you know, the look. I love the sleek look of cars. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. Guys, what about the environment? You don't care about making less of an impact on the environment? Not one person. Not one person in the group mentioned environmental impact. Why? Because you don't care about it. You don't really care about it, do you? See, in society we have this big problem where people like to care about things when it's time to care about them. We act like we care about things. We like to gather in big groups and kind of like act like we care about things, but we really don't. And this is a perfect example because unprompted, when these people are asked unprompted what they look for in a car, aesthetic, 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 style, style, style. It has nothing to do with the environment. Now, had the interviewer said, well, hold on a guy, hold on a minute, guys, what about the environment? Anybody in here care about the environment? Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's, uh, of course, yeah, the, the car has to have a, a, a small, you know, footprint, a good environmental... In right, only when you're asked, right? When you're asked, now you care about it. See what I mean? So it's like this, this commercial, it was just, I wanted to come in here and make this video and kind of just like make these quick couple of points to you guys because it's like, you know, you see what I mean? You see what I'm talking about? It's like, people don't care about things normally, just when asked unprompted and, and it, it's not on their minds. They're not thinking about it. They're not aware. They haven't been told it's time to care yet. So they don't. Um, now, now, if I were in that interview, and speaking honestly, completely honestly, because I'm the person that I am, the first thing that I would have said is environmental. Is the car electric? <laughs> is the car solar powered? Is it, it does you know what what is it? What what are you guys doing here that 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 are that that is better than everybody else? Is the car still running on fossil fuels? I don't care if it's eco friendly. Is it still running on fossil fuels? Okay, bam, game over. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that. People just need to care more. Like, like that, that's what it is, is you can see this is a clear example of how important issues 
are not on the general public's mind. What's on the general public public's mind is how things look and how things feel. That's the problem with American culture is that we're always, you know, we're always forever looking for that next sweet taste in our mouth, the next distraction, right? That's the problem is that important issues are not being talked about because no one cares. No one actually really cares. We pretend like we do, but we don't. And that commercial is a perfect example of it. Um, so I just wanted to make those quick couple of points today. Of course, now it's time for you guys to tell me what you thought. What do you guys think about that? Do you agree with me or do you have like a completely different viewpoint about that? Because I, I don't know, man, like from my personal experience, like that was a perfect example of how, you know, no one cares. You know, no one actually really cares about the issues uh, when they're asked unprompted. Um, so, and, and we need to, because if it's, the problem is, is that it's not on people's mind. That's why we keep falling behind. If, if everything's okay in, in people's little individual bubble, you know, everything's fine in the rest of the world, we need to stop that kind of mentality. Is that if you guys really do care and you really do want to bring change, well, it should be on your mind. Then do it. You know, it should be right at the forefront of your mind. You know, it should be always on your mind, always trying to figure out how you can uh, be better, right, for the world. So, um... So, like I said, leave all your thoughts and opinions down below in the great wide void about that subject, and I'll see you guys back here for the next vlog very soon. Later.